Welcome to another episode of the Strobe Light series. We hope you've been staying safe and healthy. As you know, on this show, we introduce you to Peak Alpha's family of customers. Our guest on today's show has done something remarkable. He runs an organization called Unati, which gives vocational and social transformation training to youth and gives them a 100% job guarantee. So far, Unati has provided employment and training to 45,000 youth of India and they have all been given jobs with social security, which is ESI benefits, provident fund and gratuity. You will agree that during the last two years, two topics have dominated our conversation. One is the COVID pandemic and two, the loss of jobs. COVID has made many jobs redundant, but it has also created demand for a whole new range of jobs. For example, delivery executives, you know, uh, bedside assistants that work in nursing homes and take care of the sick, uh, people who work in the e-commerce segment. Our next guest has a goal of providing training to 1 million youth and also giving them jobs and some of them in the new in-demand sectors. We'd like to introduce you to Mr. Ramesh Swami, Lead Trustee and Director of Unnati, and also the CEO of the Swami Group of Companies. Mr. Swami, welcome to the show. Thank it's you. my pleasure to have such an inspiring person on the show. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we are sitting at the Unnati Training Center in Bangalore, your head office. Yes. And I love your motto, learn, earn, and uh, stand, stand tall. tall. So tell us, uh, you know, how you came to have this motto and what it means. So, Unnati was started in 2003, okay, and three basic principles involved in Unnati is, one, if we train somebody, we must give them a job, mm. right? Two, and we have a 100% placement track record. So, it, it cannot be 99% because if we make it 99 today, it may become 90 thereafter mm. and much lower, you know. So, it is our responsibility to ensure that they are trained, the youth are trained and given a job. Two, we all talk of inclusive growth. Right? Inclusive growth happens not because of money or position. It happens because of life skills, values and communication. That is what is critical. So that is a very big part of our training program. Third, you are talking of a community change agent. When he, somebody looks at him and says, oh, this guy was not like this 35 days back. Mm. If he can change, I can change. So learn, earn is very clear. The stand tall element is something which is core to Unnati and our own philosophy. That is about value systems. Mm. You know, if it's like this, you tell me anything, and ultimately, we'll bring down the answer to value systems. That's true. We'll say if you can change the value systems, everything else will change. So for us, the foundation is value systems. So stand tall is everything about value systems. Mm. You know, many of us get it from our family, Correct. tradition, culture. There is a possibility in the underprivileged situations where it is not from the family background or mm. the society near them. That is why it becomes that much important to emphasize on value systems. Yeah. And I read something very interesting on your website saying just a 35-day vocational training program can bring an entire generation above yeah. the poverty line. So How that, is that yeah. possible? So that was, the, that was the whole trigger in a way. You know, there are two, three triggers. One, of course, uh, uh, we saw that a lot of people wanted jobs, you know, those those aspects were there. But the tri trigger is, let me give you a simple uh, example. Take a case of your maid servant or somebody. You ask her what was your life history, what happened. She will tell you I was 16, 17. My father was a drunkard, never brought home food or anything. My mother was struggling. Then what happened? So then uh, she thought this guy whom I married is much better than my father and got me married. Three years, four years down the line, she has got two kids. History repeats, right? If that girl had come to us at that age of 18, 35 days, she starts earning 10, 12,000 rupees minimum with ESI, PF, which means that family, a mother is taken care of health, right? She becomes a breadwinner, main breadwinner to the family. So she will not be married off for the next three, four years. Hmm. 
in three four years her salary moves from 12000 rupees to 25 to 30000 rupees now what happens is when she eventually gets married after 22 23 whom will she marry she marries somebody who is earning 30 40000 rupees your change in a small period of 5 6 years from 10000 levels to 70000 levels that's the kind of transformation second thing which we all have seen you know, myself also my father um, you know he went to bombay he started sending money home his brothers sisters were helped in a period of 5 6 years the whole family status changed mm. so one earning member in a family can change the status of any family and that was true so common in those days So that is a very big inspiration for us to start on the thing. Yeah, amazing. I mean, it's like a domino effect, right? Just Absolutely. one, just one uh, uh, earning and member. And we have been seeing it. It's right. not, not. We have not probably connected with it, maybe. But we, we, you ask anybody, they will say yes. This is the story. It could be one generation before, two generations before, but many of us have had this yeah. experience. Yeah. Yeah. So you you run a logistics company, mm. right? So how did you start Unati, or what was the idea behind starting this? So uh, you know, I uh, just a brief is I was in Bhopal in nineteen eighty four, third December, and uh, we were at a much different place. But uh, the gas tragedy happened, and there was a clarion call in the college. Anybody wants to help. So I was in Baraso Pachas uh, Hospital in Bhopal, and we were all there. You know, young youngsters. There were kids who actually passed away because you could anybody who says I will do this was allowed to do it. You know, to give injection, you give. Or you give oxygen, you give. And so it was a very big tragedy at that time, right? And uh, we witnessed at that age. I don't know whether it had a mental impact, adverse impact, but. definitely in the subconscious uh, it led to certain you know social uh, yeah. thinkings and all in a very big way when i came back to bangalore and joined my family business and all that yeah. you know uh, one of few things which we did start at that time was supporting children in education funeral services all this continues oh. even today okay. and utsav which is we we celebrate gokulashtami in music dance a uh, discourse all these things we celebrate in a very big way and we are one of the biggest organizations in the country and our uh, janmashtami celebrations is world renowned right? the best of artists come uh, peak also sponsors okay right <laughs> incidentally so this what it led was we had become quite big in 1993 and by 2002 we realized that a lot of youth uh, whom we had supported in education actually dropped out of school oh okay and then we felt we have supported somebody for 8 years 10 years and we have not created the change hmm. that is why again the thought of unnati and making it very formal helping it happen so this whole inspiration uh, is is a journey hmm if you ask me did you plan something no it was not planned is a journey you have lived you know you you find something can you help can you do it and we have been evolving as a journey uh, but the intention is always there to do good right yeah i i think that is what is the basic underlying principle and certain value systems yeah which could help us build an institution right right that value systems is what has helped us build an institution of unnati right otherwise it could have been a small thing you have helped and you know it it just happened for a few years and probably something happens you don't do it but when you build an institution you are able to take it along yeah so from what you say i feel it's a very seamless uh transformation from education to jobs to yeah. better living it it is seamless but a lot of effort has yes. to go in <laughs> it is seamless but because we enjoyed that journey it happened mm. so the logistics firm was something for my own bread and butter and whatever it mean but this is something which was uh, very core to my heart and you know it gave that happiness this sense of satisfaction at the end of the day you you always the bottom line is always happiness 
Absolutely. Right? Yes. So you you I think a project like this can give you happiness every minute. Mm. You just read, see a boy who is successfully uh, plays, doing well. Oh, well. You you cannot get that from anything else. Yeah, very true. Somewhere you are instrumental in that. Yeah. Right. So you have a very uh, lovely timetable and a syllabus. So how did you start uh, putting this together? So uh, basic principles, as I told you, life skills, values, yeah. these are there. Computer education is yeah. such an important element. It is God's grace that we met people in the in the gamut of all. You know, you know so many people. You talk about it, and each one. How did it happen? You. It is magic. It is miracle. We see miracle every day. Today, if I think I want this to happen, you will be surprised that somebody will walk in and say, "You know, I want to do this. Uh, can we do it together?" Yeah. It will happen, and this has been the way it has happened. Mm. When we brought up this building, uh, you know, there's a blog itself written on that. Mm. We we were struggling at one time. We thought it will cost two crores. I've, we have bought steel at fourteen thousand. We have bought steel at thirty two thousand. Mm. We have bought cement at one thirty five. We have bought cement at three twenty. At one time, we we didn't know what an Infosys Foundation over a phone call. They gave us one point three crores as if it is thirteen thousand rupees. The way they gave us, they knew us, but. I'm saying how it happened is itself a story. You know? mm. Mm. So I I believe that the entire universe will work for you. You know it it happens. So this curriculum was built basically through inputs of various people, mm. and then it got tightened. It got tightened. It you know reiteration, reiteration, and over a period of time we started off with ninety days. Then it became seventy. We just did three hundred and twenty youth in the first five years. I see. Then we documented a few things. We started our main uh, growth started happening from two thousand fourteen fifteen. I where see. Where we have opened up thirty centers across the country. Mm. Today and then you next happened government colleges. Mm. Today we are uh, you know of course this year again last year and this year have been terrible years because of COVID. But uh, we are sure next year we are talking of twenty five thousand youth being trained and uh, moving out. Ready, yeah, yeah. yeah. We have done over fifty thousand youth over the period of eighteen years. Yeah, yeah. So, that's, so you're working with the government of Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh, right? Yeah. So government of Karnataka found this UNEX program in government colleges, a finishing mm-hmm. school model, uh, very effective. They did their due diligence, and now they got into an agreement with us, mm-hmm. saying that. Please scale it to twenty-five thousand youth. APSSDC last one year they have observed us, they have seen, and last week they signed an agreement mm. for three years, mm. saying that let's do it in a very big scale. So we we are we are that that you know you are in an orbit. We are hoping that we move out of that orbit and then take it to a different scale because you next. Um, You must remember Anupama. Like in olden days, you know, nineteen sixties. If you remember, Kamrajar bought the midday meal scheme. Correct. Right? Yes. What magic it did for the children in schools! A Unix program can actually do it for the employability of the underprivileged government college youth, final year youth. It can achieve that. Mm. That's the power of this program. Mm. It's a very small intervention, minimal cost of just two thousand rupees. But the impact is unbelievable, right? So that is where we want to scale, and it is it is pathetic. You will be shocked at the numbers you you hear: fourteen million youth coming out every year from graduation or various segments. Mm. What is the percentage of placements? Right, terrible. And you have the stalwarts in the industry telling you that hardly twenty percent of the people who come out. Are employable, mm. right? So if the youth are good, they are my reference point. Mm. The person comes back. I found your youth good. I want more youth. Mm. Somebody joins a company and says, "Oh, where did you? What did you do in the interview? Is this unnati? What is unnati? Oh, so and so. Oh, it's okay. He calls us. I found this guy very good. I want to hire more people. Mm. So it is. It is the product which you bring out. You yeah. Know, if the effort goes in there, placement is just a byproduct. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That easy. 
I am here with Monica, who is a student at Unnati. She is currently undergoing training, and she is all of four days old in the course, right, Monica? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Monica. You are a graduate, I hear, in BCom. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Myself, Monica. I am basically from Bangalore. Okay. I uh, I joined over Unnati past four days back. Okay. I learned so many things over here. Mm. Uh, like uh, life skills, spoken English. Uh, I don't know even typing in uh, monitor. I learned that, and uh, mom is teaching now uh, ta about tally. Mm -hmm. Even I don't know tally. And some words in speaking English, particularly wow. the words uh, like um, need, uh, sock, mm -hmm. like that words. I understood uh, why they will use uh, such kind of words, and I overcome. To speak something better okay. than previous word I was speaking more than that I can speak. Okay. Yeah. In life skills, uh, how to control my anger, then how I should be in my professional, personal life, uh, about the gender, mm -hmm. and uh, not only that, how to be in patience. Mm -hmm. They will do in assembly also. They will teach be calm and cool and overcome uh, out of your negative things. Mm -hmm. Do not frustrate yourself like that. They have to motivate uh, each and every day, not only for today. And uh, they provide all the needs. Yeah, that, so those are very good skills, Monica. I would like to learn some of them too. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah, so what, what kind of uh, uh, goals do you have, aspirations? I saw that you had a goal setting class in the morning, right? Yes, ma'am. Short time goals means I have to overcome. Uh, I can speak English in good. I can communicate, but yeah. I want an English influent way. How you speak, mom? Like that, I need oh, to. Thank you. You will learn soon. You are very good. I have to communicate like that. Okay. That is my short term, and my long term goal is to uh, be in HR post. And we wish you all the best. Thank and, you, mom. Uh, we hope to see you in a very nice organization, and I'm sure you'll do very well there. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thanks. I'm sitting with another student from Unnati called Arijit. Arijit, do you sing? Yes. Like your namesake, the famous singer? Uh, yes, my name, but I'm not singer now. You, you don't sing? No. <laughs> okay, so tell us about yourself. Where do you come from? Are you from Bangalore? First of all, thank you, ma'am, giving me this opportunity. I am from West Bengal. Okay. My name is Arijit Manu from West Bengal. I am BA graduate. Okay, nice. Right. And you studied English? Family, no? Okay. Sorry, no? uh, you studied English, you said, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. So, why did you join Unati? And how did you hear of it? Uh, I my joined, I'm joined to Unati because this is pandemic situation. Uh -huh. A lot of people not uh, job. Yeah. That's why I'm yeah, I'm joined to Unati after 35 days. Unati giving me job mm -hmm. in a good uh, company mm -hmm. and I am here to my learning skill develop, develop yeah. my learning skill and to get a job in a reputed company. Okay. Yes, you said you also want to become a businessman, yes, right? Yes, so what kind of business do you want to do? As a cloth businessman. Cloth? Okay. Yes. Nice. That's in fashion. Yes. Okay. Any cloth. Okay. Some cosmetic items. Okay, that's nice. Okay. So thank you for sharing your dream with us and we wish you all the very best. Thank you. Thank you. So you you take or you train youth from underprivileged backgrounds. So are these courses free or um, how do you work so out the fees? So what we do is we just charge them thousand rupees as a okay. registration. You call, call you can call it fees, etc. The balance amount comes from HNIs okay. and CSR mm. and individuals, right? So that is how the model works. And our continuous effort is to keep the cost very low. Mm. One youth costs us around 12,000 rupees for the whole thing. But we, we continuously work in that area, how mm. we can keep it tight, how we can make it sustainable. Mm. You know, all those aspects are continuously happening. But it is a CSR Initiative. Initiative largely today. Yeah. Earlier it was an individual, uh, you know, a lot of individuals were contribute. funding it. Huh. But 2015 onwards when the numbers started growing, today, you know, we can't look at 20,000 individuals, right? So things have changed. Hmm. Hmm. Things have changed. 
I saw, I was witness to a very nice uh, custom in your uh, organization, which is a nice prayer to the donor before lunch. Yeah, oh yes. That is very nice. A very, very touching thing. You know, we, we in Hindu, we all say, you know, we, one of the biggest dhanams they say is Anadana. You know, Correct. Those. Yeah. So what we thought was many people uh, like to celebrate uh, various occasions by giving food to our youth. And we said, what can we give them back? You know, what, what they are giving us food. What, we asked the students, what do you want? So we would love to, uh, you know, pray to the Almighty and uh, make their family do well. So we started this practice. Mm. Uh, they will, before they have the food, they have a prayer. Pray for all of them in their family. And then have the food. I'm sure there's this vibration actually, you know, of course. Will, will reach them in that way. Yeah, that's that's very nice. And where do you get your change makers or your teachers from? How do you recruit so, them? So the uh, the people, what we do is wherever our centers are, we try to hire from the nearby area. Okay. But we have a very intense program of 30 days mm -hmm. as train the trainer. We call it be a change maker. Mm. So we don't call our trainers trainers because we say you are not a trainer. You, what are you doing? You are creating a transformation in the youth. Mm. So we change the nomenclature from trainer, teacher, etc. to change maker. So our people are called change makers. So we call it a be a change maker program. I right? see. So that's almost 30 day. The challenge always is not about how to teach or the knowledge they have. The challenge is always to inspire them to do their best. Mm. Because yeah, it's, it's true with all of us, you know, wherever you see that people work for money, there's a problem. Right. Right. We always tell them, you have a job, you've been given this uh, salary, you've agreed to it, please keep that separate now. <laughs> now you look at the program, mm. work for the cause. Mm. See, as a teacher, you may be doing this subject seven times, eight times in a year. Mm. Nine times in a year. There's a possibility you can feel bored. Mm. That boy sitting there, for him it's the it's first all time. New. Yeah. You your your delivery, your energy, your you know the, the whole process cannot fall down. Mm. That is why the responsibility I said first, responsibility is on the change maker to make it happen. Right. We've all gone to school college. The best of teachers in a college, reputed person. He finishes the class, delivers beautifully as usual, gives the questions, gives the notes, everything. He comes out. You ask him, sir, are you sure all the 60 have understood? What do you think is the answer? It's not. All of them have not understood. In Unnati, it cannot happen. Hmm. It is not about your delivery. It is whether they have understood. Mm. So the responsibility shifts from the youth to, to yourself. The change maker. And if I have to make that happen among all the 20, 30 youth, I have to necessarily work from a platform of love, care and concern. Mm. And that is the philosophy of Unati. Mm. The work has to happen from a platform of love, care and concern. The moment you start doing that, Everything else changes. Yeah. What is the difference between an idli in a uh, hotel and an idli given by your mother? She knows you don't like so and so thing. The chutney will be different. The the uh, you know things which go along with it will be different. That is love, care, and concern. Mm. How do you bring that into your system of education? Yeah. That's that's. The that's the key and that is one of the biggest challenge. How do you keep your change makers motivated? Mm, mm. One of the biggest challenges. Yeah. So you have um, different subjects that the children are taught. Yeah. Tally, uh, yes. computers, um, you know, yeah. life skills, values. So the English life skills, values, computer is common across the board. Mm -hmm. Right. Everybody has to learn it. What is slightly different is if they are not very highly educated mm. and 10 standard levels, we try to teach them sales, marketing, and all mm. so that they can go into e-commerce, 
they could go into retail if they are less than 10 standard they could go into food chains okay logistics mm. so it can be that way mm. 10 standard above can go into retail slightly beyond 12 standard kind of things and all we try to introduce tally in a big way mm. though that they can be into uh, bpo operations mm. accounts assistance mm. back end support mm. all of them require to know erp right. a retail person is definitely benefited if he understands erp because billing is doing he understand what is an invoice what happens debit credit so many aspects of it yeah yeah that's, that's the whole thing right so it's a gamut from somebody who has not gone to school to somebody who's a graduate the whole gamut the spectrum of youth can be trained and given jobs thank you mr swami for taking yeah. us to your computer lab you were telling me that that's was set up in 2008 that's right yeah and i can see the names of some of the donors some of the donors yeah yes. so uh, tell us how did this come about the the building you mean yeah so we started off in 2006 or so mm -hmm. and we said it should be an iim or an iimt for the poor you know that was the concept with which we brought up this second thing is computer has been one of the main business language like english really computer is not about skills it is a language which is a necessity to survive so we believe in that extremely and we feel that computer will lead you to lifelong learning long term learning because earlier you used to say you know mata pita guru devo yes it has been replaced by google it is mata pita google very true if you don't know if you are not internet savvy you will not be able to survive so the whole idea is we work with them on shortcuts mm -hmm. we work with them very deeply in advanced excel etc because mm. ours is not a computer education it is how you use the computer in your office workplace right because in next 15 20 days they are all going to be having a company tag they are going to having a bank account esi pf and they are going to be working in companies so it's not about just knowledge or basics they should be able to implement all that and in workplace your efficiency depends on shortcuts and understanding excel so that is where the focus will be yes in the later part they are all going to uh, they practice every day typing okay so their typing speed will be in the range of 30 with an accuracy of 98% very good you cannot survive without typing knowledge you know very in, true in yeah. any office yeah so these are some of the it is totally related to employment So we are at Unnati's computer lab. There are about 32 students here who are learning some basic computer skills. Rekha is the teacher, or as they call the change maker at Unnati. So we'll ask her what she's teaching in today's class. Rekha, what is today's class about? Uh, today we are introducing them to internet. Okay. So we'll teach them about browsing sites mm -hmm. and how to apply for jobs and other things. So if you can see, that's the that's the screen. where the children get to see how to download uh, a picture and a few minutes ago rekha was teaching them how to clear history uh, very vital in computers now you're going to be teaching them how to use gmail right right okay so at the end of uh, this course what kind of skills uh, do the students acquire uh, basically in computers they will know how to browse internet send mails attachments during their workplace and even they'll be knowing how to use this word excel and powerpoint okay so excel is a very important thing in any workplace where they do a basic uh, formulas and other things so these are the basic things they will be acquiring in the end of the study for days so you you don't have like a requirement for students who want to join or that do you is expect some basic on a education scale, on a scale of uh, 10 the biggest uh, difficulty will be that that how do you bring the youth into the program hmm. because Uh, you know you anybody who's listening will think you're giving them taking care of them uh, in everything teaching them giving them a job they should be flooded with it doesn't happen yeah so various reasons it it they don't they don't understand the whole thing really we have to understand what is the situation of that youth from that underprivileged background mm. he is inside a tunnel he is not able to see next 3 4 steps right right we we will 
we can brand them as lazy we can brand them as uh, not inspired they don't think goal setting dreams all this we can brand them but the fact remains that they are in a tunnel and they cannot think right so we, they require our help even to motivate them even to bring them into the program <clears throat> so it is a big challenge but things are changing yeah. things are changing and the aspiration levels of youth is becoming better changing the parents are one of the biggest problems you know i have had kanji you also have kanji and live your life this mm. this is not acceptable in the middle class upper middle class it doesn't happen yeah. you know yeah, my son wants to go to bombay and learn i will say okay go do what you want right here the villager will say no no you should not go what will happen if you go to bangalore how can you stop you know and then what happens is he does not allow him to move out hmm. and he actually kills the enthusiasm kills the thinking of that youth and suppresses him hmm. then you cannot over night say after five years say he is not done well and all right you know? yeah at the right time you have not encouraged him so there are a lot of issues you want your girl married why do you want to work this hmm. is the problem hmm. i cannot allow you you know you will be surprised recently one uh, change maker you know was about to go and i asked him who are your family and he said my father my mother and i have a sister and myself so i said what is your sister doing so she she just finished bcom i said why is she not working so he said no no sir i am there my father is there i said how can you allow you are a change maker how can you talk like this how can you be like this you you have to inspire that if a car has four wheels can you run the car with two wheels how do you think a country which has 50% women will move forward if the women folk is only 22% in the gdp involvement yeah i am not saying that every uh, lady should work or i am that should be their <coughs> choice correct yeah that should be their let her go work and say no i want to take care of my family and as a guru uh, a partner and this one you discuss and as a choice you stay back home you yeah. cannot be suppressing the the whole dreams right yeah yeah that that these things happen still happens yeah still happens yeah and and there i i must you know add that at we at peak alpha also believe that you know Absolutely. women especially for women it's important to be financially independent very true yeah. very true yeah no it, it so you you cannot advise and get it done yeah you need to make them think mm. and that is empowerment correct yeah yeah if you are able to make them think you are empowered the decision can be wrong right forget it mm. they are empowered i hear you also have a lot of volunteers who come and yeah absolutely the volunteer brings a lot of value to the whole program the entire top management of unnati is pro bono the mm. second level who head verticals whether it is hr or it is unix whether it is uh, pedagogy everything is handled by volunteers i see and once the volunteer starts getting involved and then the passion drives passion starts giving them time everything will happen hmm. so we 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 believe in volunteers everything is done by volunteers <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We have 150 staff of our own, of but uh, but you know a lot of uh, volunteers too. Right. Yeah. And and I believe you keep your admin cost to just about five percent. Less than five percent. Yeah. And how yeah. do you do that? So we have a very uh, strong you know involvement of technology, which has helped us bring the um, percentage down. For example, the entire portal, the life cycle of a youth, is mm. captured in. sixer class which is a portal cloud based portal i see certificates are issued through certified e which is again cloud based one click of a button one shot it goes to everyone mm-hmm. we are a zero cash organization mm-hmm. we use happy cards okay and it it helps us not just in zero cash but also straight away accounting becomes much more easier it goes into the head of account and sits mm-hmm. so everywhere we have tried to utilize lms you mm. know everywhere we have tried our uh, technology intervention we are a small company of 150 people but we still have a facto hr mm. which looks after the entire employment cycle everything so all this has helped us to reduce manpower 
hmm. and cost. So this is how we have. We are very lean organization. Yeah, yeah. But you you've also grown over the last about eighteen nineteen years, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Now now you have thirty one centers all across. Yes. India. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, how is it to run um, an organization like this? I mean, financially. <laughs> uh, if I think financially, I will not get sleep. <laughs> okay, <laughs> because every month you have to pay 150 people salaries, right? And this this is not a product company, or this is not we are not generating in in revenue. my business. It's different. I I get revenue. I know there's a steady flow of revenue. I pay, people have. Pay salary. Here it is based on donations, CSR, mm. individual. So it is a tough thing. It mm. is a tough thing. But uh, what I, we believe is we will do our job well, right? We will do our job with sincerity. We will do our job with dedication. And there are good people in this world mm. who will identify you and pour money. So this is the belief. If I think of a month that I have to pay or something, I will shudder. I will probably lose sleep. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so I don't do that. <laughs> yeah. I concentrate on the work. That gives me happiness. <laughs> right. So personally, you you've had an association with Peak Alpha here for about 10 years now. Oh, oh yeah. Many, yeah. I, I don't know the uh, number of years, but very many years. Okay. Absolutely. So, how has yeah. that journey been? So, it, it is, uh, for me, Peak Alpha is family. Okay. And uh, the good thing or the worst thing is, I don't contribute to the family. The family takes care of me. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. So, Peak Alpha takes care of my everything. And I'm, uh, and Sham, Priya, you know, we, we are, their his sister, Shobha, Nara, and parents, everybody. We, we are very closely in it with the entire family, including the children and all that. Okay. So, I, I think they are very professional. Uh, when you come to Peak Alpha, they are, they are a very professional group. They take care of you. They understand you well, you know, and offer you solutions to to suit your requirement, which mm. is very important, right? Which is very important because I am telling this because Sham keeps telling me, you know, Ramesh, you are a different investor. So, I have to look at you differently. <laughs> you are not like many others. You know? That's true. So, so there is that, that personal touch and that aspect of it is very critical. Mm. You know, mm. extremely critical and especially in the financial world, right? It, it's, it's, uh, it's built on trust. Correct. Right? It's built on trust and relationship and Things can go wrong, not because you are wrong or your judgment was wrong. COVID uh, changed so many things, Unforeseen right? Things. And uh, so it is. It is about trust. It is about that relationship which says that that value system that he will not do wrong to me. Mm. You know? It's a very important element, and um, I have full faith in uh, the team that way. How do I, if I want to recommend somebody to the Uniti program, how do I do that? Simple. Just look at their age, hmm. 18 to 25. We don't see anything else. Okay. Whether he's educated, he's gone to school, he's intelligent, nothing is asked. 35 days, we assure you, he will have a corporate job and he can go. Okay. We don't ask anything else. Okay. And do you, do you work with companies in getting feedback from them as to what kind of skills are they looking for in people? So it's an important element, right? When yeah. I say I guarantee them jobs, mm. if I'm not market driven, mm. if I'm not aligned with what the market requires, for example, a few years back, hospitality was a very important industry. Today it has crashed. Correct. I cannot do hospitality. Right? It's over. It's not there right now. It will happen next year. That That's a different it'll, story. It gets revived. I need to be ready. Today, what is it? It is into e-commerce. Mm. It is into logistics. You have your Flipkart, you have your Amazon, you have so many big baskets, so many people, right? So you have to be aligned to the industry. Mm. And you have to take feedbacks from them. What is happening? What is new you want, what is the changes you want in the curriculum, bring it back, change it, put it back. So you, you have to be dynamic. There's no question about it. And that is one of the biggest problems of our education system, right? Yeah. Your textbook has not changed for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> 
So where have you been dynamic? Yeah. So in a vocational training program, in a skill set program, you cannot be complacent. Yeah. You cannot. And so all these are, you know, it's a good thing for you. When you say, I will guarantee them a job, the ball is in your court always. Very true. The ball is never in the court of the youth. I, my change makers cannot say, sir, the boy is not very good, so we couldn't get him a job. No. Mm. You work from a platform of love, care and concern, you can change him. So thank you, Mr. Swami, for a wonderful interview. And Pleasure. we wish you all the very, very best for Thank Unati. you. Thank you. And uh, may you continue to change more lives. Absolutely. My best wishes to P. Kalfa. I'm Thank very you. happy that uh, you all are featuring me. And, uh, you know, our association, of course, has been uh, different. But this is, I, I look forward to a lot of P. Kalfa members looking at it, taking it, talking to their maids and drivers and everybody and helping the society in a big way. Those who want to volunteer some time, please do connect with us. We are there. We could give. It could be very meaningful. Add a lot of meaning to your life. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. As Mr. Swami said, a successful business is one that is responsive and that preempts the future. We at Peak Alpha believe the same. We respond to our customers' needs and we also make sure that they are able to achieve their goals. We hope you are inspired by the story of Unati. If you want to contribute to them or volunteer, we are leaving you with their email IDs and their website. We also are leaving you with our website address and our YouTube channel address. Please get in touch with us and let us know how you liked our show. We love to hear from our audience. And uh, we'll be back next month with another show and another story. See you soon.